Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may at this point respectfully invite a pathfinder, a game changer, and an achiever, the Governor of River State, His Excellency Yesu Ezewawike, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Service Star of River State, Life Bencher. Excellency, the President elect of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Aswaji Bola Ahmed Tinibu, Your Excellency, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Right Honorable Femi Majabi Bila, Your Excellencies, my dear brother governors of Jigawa State, of Eboyin State, of Kwara State, of Ogun State, the governor of Oyo State just left us because of other engagements he has in Oyo State, but he was with us all through yesterday and this morning. The Excellencies, Former governors, particularly our elder statesman, Chief B.C. Akonde, former governor of Oshu State, and my former boss, the chairman of Nigerian Governors Forum, former governor of Ekiti State, who, of course, did the groundbreaking of this complex, Dr. Kayode Fayemi. Distinguished senators that are here, my Lord the Chief Judge and the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, judges of River State Judiciary, including my dear wife, members of the State Assembly that are here, body of student advocates, chairman of Portagot branch of the Jamba Association and other chairmen of other branches that are here. The magistracy, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Just as Mr. President elect, let me again say on behalf of the government and people of River State, thank you once more for coming to honor us and fulfilling the promise you made to the people of the state when you came for our campaigns. You were with us yesterday and commissioned the 12th flyover. Yesterday, you gave us the opportunity to go to the state banquet. This morning, you are here again to commission justice in the magistrate court complex. We want to thank you sincerely. And also, Say so again, congratulations for your victory in the last concluded presidential election held 25th of February 2023. Your Excellency, this is another promise made and promise kept. I went to the State High Court sometimes and I saw the conjecture and I asked the Chief Judge, what is going on here? He said, well, you know that the magistrates are here, the judges are here, and unfortunately, they don't have enough courtrooms for the magistrates, but they alternate. Sometimes they share offices, somebody will sit in the morning, and the other person will sit in the afternoon. And so what is the essence of appointing the magistrates? Well, we don't have space for this. Well, because of the number of cases. So I made the promise that before I leave office, I was going to build this complex for the magistrates. I thank God Almighty that today God has made it possible that this dream 
has been accomplished. I brought my brother, Governor, before Kayode Faibi, to come and lay the foundation. And he agreed. And he told me, am I sure I was going to finish this before I leave office? I said, there's one project that I will not keep. It is this project. It must be completed, commissioned under my tenure. I'm so proud to say that I'm happy with what the contractor has done here. When I came with the chief judge, luckily this was not done without the input of the chief judge and the chief register. I'm always visiting this site to see how far. The day I came with the chief judge, when we went to the offices, the chief judge said he will be to trouble. I said, why? He said his brother judges will kill him. Frankly speaking, if you go to the offices and you see the magistrate's office, there's no way the judges will not complain. But I have always said everybody has his own time. This is the time of the magistrates. Let them enjoy it. And also to make sure that they put in their best. My problem is not this editing. My problem is the maintenance. Because I feel so bad that you build a structure like this and those who are responsible for it, you come back here in the next six months, you ask yourself, why did I even embark upon this? Beautiful as it is, I hope in the next six months, it will still be like this. When you enter into the courtrooms, the air conditions will be working. When you enter into the toilets, it will be working, water will flow. Not the situation where you come here, oh, the water is not flowing. What happened? There's no desire to pump uh, water. All kinds of excuses. So what I have done, and I've told the CJ, look, you are the chief judge. It will be unfair in your tenure that you can maintain this edifice. It will be quite unfair. Put it in your budget. I will plead with my successor that he releases this money to you and let them farm it out to give to people whose responsibility is to keep it clean. Not to say the civil servants when they come, they will sweep. No. Pay out the money. So we are going to make provision, at least as I'm leaving office, in this one year when I come here. I don't know the day somebody would like me that year. And I say, you don't say, former governor, no more immunity. So I expect that, no more immunity. And I expect that, well, so one day I will come here. I don't want to hear that it is dilapidated, it has deteriorated. It will be quite unfair. So each month, you get 20 million naira to maintain this place. So we'll give you one year in advance so that you keep this place. But if I come here any day I leave office and I see how bad it is, the way I will scandalize your name. No, I said it clear. Because most people complain. No money, no money, no money. Even the little you are giving, you don't want to use it and do the right thing. Just like when we handed over the law school to the Council of Legal Education, the state government gave out 400 million naira. Look, put it in our account for the maintenance of the structure. We gave them properties where they can use to make money to keep the school. We don't want a situation where they will say, oh, the federal government has not released money. The money they release is too small. Okay, let the federal government be paying your salaries. Take this to keep, to maintain the school. I was told the other day that there was no light. There was no water. I said, I can't understand our system. So, my lady chief judge, for one year, I know you'll be retiring next year. 
for before you retire, keep it. When your successor is coming, tell him too. Now I'm going. I'm handing over very good condition. He will also follow suit. We lack maintenance culture. We lack it. We don't take government property as our own. You give people houses to live. They say, what do you consider me? Not my house. Where you are living is not your house. Well, which one will be a house again? It's unfortunate. People cannot even cut the grasses. They expect government to come and cut grasses where they are living. It's such unfortunate thing. Why did we name this place after Justice Sundo? During his tenure as a chief judge, he did very, very well. He did very, very well. In fact, that was the period, as at that time, I was the chief of staff. You see a chief judge coming with dignity. You can't believe it. A chief judge will arrive, you know that this is a chief judge. Very clean, dresses very well. After, of course, you can see him as he came out. He retired how many years? Look at how he looks like, a chief judge. And that, is, that has been his nature. He lacks anything neat. And he contributed to the growth of the judiciary. And then we felt like, look, now he's, he's alive. Let us remember that he has done his own work. And that's why we have to name this complex as Justice Iche Wenenda Ndo, retired magistrate court complex. We also look at those who rose from the magistracy and were given appointment to serve in the higher bench, being judges. So it is good to also encourage other people that you never can tell tomorrow you will also be remembered. And so the first building by my immediate left, not where you have the canteen, the first block has to be named Justice Simeon Amade, Chibuza Amade block. And then we remember one of our own, who today is late, Justice Elizabeth Membry. So block B will be named, it's named after Justice, late Justice Elizabeth Membry. We would have named Justice Fadley and Dezo Kocha, but we remember that they have been named, some have been named their names. In the law school, you have Justice Dezo Kocha Street. You have Justice Mary of the Judicial uh, Institute. So well, we have remembered and let us also remember other people. So the president of Customer Court of Appeal was also a magistrate before he became a judge of the Customer Court of Appeal, and today he is the president of the Customer Court of Appeal. So the third block is named after the president of the Customer Court of Appeal. And then the last block, me, I will not go empty handed. <laughs> Every day, we can, you are generous, you are generous. If me and generous to myself, is it bad? So, as I'm leaving, let me also name that one after my wife. So that will be named, so that at least me, I have a name somewhere. You see, Justice Suzette Eberich, Yeson Wiko. What matters to me is Yeson Wiko. So, my name is there. So that block is for my dear wife. Your Excellency, Mr. President-elect, I feel so satisfied. I know in the next two weeks, I will already be bound out. But I'm bound out with happiness that I'm going home satisfied, that I did not disappoint the reverse people, and I did not disappoint the judiciary. Thank you, and God bless you. On that note, I invite His Excellency, Mr. President-elect, they will bring this closer there because of the some very so that uh, your new brand president don't want anything to touch you. You have to be there. Thank you and God bless you. When a bad no more so we can on my city boat. Well, they're